in the last video i explained how instancing works and how much performance gain am i getting after using it in this video i'll try to explain about another optimization technique named patching how is patching different from instancing instancing refers to the process of drawing multiple instances of a single object with same geometry and material properties but different transforms in a single draw call this is useful when you have many instances of the same object in a scene and want to reduce the number of draw calls to improve performance batching on the other hand refers to the process of combining multiple objects into a single batch reducing the number of draw calls required to render them this is typically done by combining objects with similar properties like materials or textures into a single batch unlike instancing batching requires more preparation as the objects need to be combined into a single mesh both instancing and batching are used to improve performance in 3d graphics but they address different aspects of rendering pipeline and are used in different scenarios to show how i am batching multiple meshes let me first show how i am creating and drawing the meshes individually i have this mesh class in which there are two major functions create and draw in the create function i am creating a vertex array to contain the mesh information and in draw function i am using gl draw elements function to send the mesh info to gpu whenever we call this function we are actually incrementing the draw calls by 1 so if we have to draw 1 lakh meshes the draw calls will be 1 lakh since we already know that batching the objects with similar properties can help us reduce the draw calls let me jump directly to my batcher class in this class i have the start batching function which iterates through all the game objects and helps me fetch all the common properties for that i am copying most of the properties from the game object meshes and combining it in one vertex array there is an issue that arises in this case we cannot send individual model matrices to shader for the vertex transformation anymore since the meshes before batching had their individual model matrices we were transferring the model matrix to vertex shader and the shader was handling the conversion of those vertex positions from model space to world space now in the batching case since we have batched all the vertex positions in one vertex array we can't pass individual matrices in this case what can we do to handle this well we can do the model space to world space conversion in the cpu side itself and then pass that as the vertex position to shader i have this get world space vertices function which takes the game object's position euler angle and scale it converts the vertices from model space to world space and returns the world space vertices let's see the statistics now when we don't use batching and when we use it we are drawing 1 lakh 489 separate meshes in the first case and the draw calls we are seeing is also 1 lakh 489 since they are all being drawn separately the fps we are getting without batching is extremely low and is somewhere around 
Now let's see the stats after I click batch. The draw calls after batching reduces from 1,489 to 1 since I'm batching all the meshes in one and then drawing the combined mesh and the FPS has increased now to 178. That is a drastic performance gain guys. And with batching, we can now draw separate meshes as well, which was not possible in instancing. Textured batching was not shown in this demo. I'll be explaining about a very interesting technique called texture atlasing in the next video and then show the progress on texture batching. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you found this video interesting and I'll be seeing you next time.